Okay. Uh, we are live. Uh, I just got this in the mail. This is the Meteor uh, 75 Pro 04 Digital Whoop uh, kit, and I'm going to put it together for you live. We'll see how long that takes. Uh, if you have questions along the way, please ask. Uh, so I did this before. I built uh, an 04 Whoop on this 2S uh, kind of modified frame and canopy, and this is the real deal, so I don't modified stuff it didn't work super well so um we'll see if we have better luck this time so let's um go ahead and get into it hello me box welcome actually before we get into it let's just kind of take a look a little bit at um you know the the meteor 75 and what it is um you know i've i've got plenty of different versions of this drone i've got an analog i've got an hd zero um i've walked I have a walk snail version. What I don't have is a, a good 04 uh, version of this thing. I, I love this as uh, a good FPV beginner quad because it's it's big enough um, to, to fly outside, uh, but it's also small enough that you can fly it indoors. I love this on a throttle cut, so um, that's what we're doing here. Uh, good evening to you. Welcome, Jason. Um, thanks. Uh, yeah, uh, so today the build... Um, we're going to do this live and, uh, I'd love to answer questions as we go, right? So we're looking at the Meteor 75 Pro 04 brush, brushless whoop quadcopter. And, um, I've got this plug and play version. So it's 80 bucks, $80 gets you what I have in this box. We're going to open it up and take a look in a second. Um, then we're going to try and put it together. Um, so just kind of looking at the specs here. Uh, yes, it's a 1S drone. That means you don't have 2S power, but it's nice and light, which I love. I love flying 1S quads, three-blade props. Uh, it has the 04 light or the regular 04 air unit, the smaller one. Uh, if you buy it, uh, I'm going to add this one to it. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. The 45-millimeter prop, so it is bigger than a traditional 75. Do I have a traditional? I do. Oof, there goes my fun light. <laughs> okay, so this is a Meteor 75 Pro. I built this one. This is um, HD zero, and this is also HD zero, but a regular 75 quad. So you can kind of see the difference in terms of size. So uh, this is what we're building, the slightly larger Uh, but not quite 85, which I think 85 might be uh, the sweet spot in terms of 2S. So it looks like Mi Box uh, had Holystone HS 900, loved it, uh, crashed because the battery not inserted properly. That's unfortunate. Uh, I do like that. That was a good little little drone made by Wakara, I believe. So we're looking at 37.2 grams, five and a half minutes of flight time. We have this uh, Matrix 1S3 in one flight controller, which is kind of a big deal. Uh, because it has a voltage regulator that keeps this thing from uh, losing power, right? That's kind of the issue with some of these uh, 1S quads. All right, so yeah, so they're going to talk a little bit about that here. Uh, let's see. It says simplified setup. We're going to find out, is it actually simplified uh, in just a minute? So, um, all right, let's, let's get to it. Uh, they also sent me... I didn't buy this, right? Uh, they sent it to me to review. They also sent me some batteries, which is cool. A couple of extra frames, which I love. And then some extra canopies. And this uh, also has a uh, stabilizing mount for the camera. So we'll see if we can't figure that out. Because uh, I'm not going to try and read directions. Or will I? Well, I have to. We'll see. Uh, Dusan Sil Siljamenic. Welcome. Hello. I apologize if I didn't get your name quite quite right there. Um, but okay, so let's get after it. I'm going to bring in uh, camera two here um, so you guys get a better uh, view of what's happening uh, as I build this drone. So let me go ahead and switch cameras for you here. And uh, boom. All right, get this out of the way let's turn with the box and let's get into it 
so I did, again, no, I did not buy this thing. But I'm going to be brutally honest whether I like it or not. Um, I mean, this is a live re live unboxing, I guess, and uh, a live putting together of the drone. So we'll see how quickly I can get it done. Hopefully I can get it done because uh, i got to basically stop at... Six o'clock. So if I'm not done in 40 minutes, and I should be, uh, we've got problems. All right. So what do we got in the box? We've got looks like props, and I have um, the USB-C connector here. Cool. Uh, we've got some hardware. We've got some camera mounting stuff. I've got an antenna. Okay. Here is my canopy. Now, uh, when I tried. To build mine, I had to kind of modify one of these canopies. So it's nice that we've got that. And here we go. The quad. All right, so we got the frame, the motors, the props. They are plugged motors, so note that. And uh, there is the connection point uh, for the O4 air unit, right? So I've got my O4 air unit right here. Um, you can see I've got black tape here. The reason I have black tape is, again, because I would put it on this quad here, and I, you know, not the world's greatest solder. So we had some, uh, I, I wanted to avoid uh, connection issues. So let's just see if we pull this thing out, what we come up with. Okay. Ooh, interesting. So... This is going, yeah, I guess it is going to go right over like so. All right. Um, I guess the first thing I need to do is figure out how this works. Gosh, darn it. I hate stuff like this. <laughs> um, actually, looks like I'm going to go ahead and remove this here from DJI, this camera thing. And actually, this doesn't look bad at all. All right, so that's going to clip on. OK, cool. And that's going to mount you here. How? I don't quite understand that. Where's my... Great. What the heck? All right, so is this super intuitive? Unfortunately, the answer to that is no. Um, hmm. All right, anybody in the chat done this before? <laughs> Welcome, great UTVs. Um, the DJI O4 system, the only that limits range is the battery life, correct? Um, I guess I don't quite understand the question, Jason. So, yeah, range... Um, range on this is going to be pretty awesome for sure. Um, but battery, can I, you know, can I outfly the battery? Probably not. Um, all right. I don't, okay. What, what is happening here? I don't quite see how those fit together. Um, let's see. What does, uh, What's Beta FPV have to say? Do they have? Let's take a look on their website. There, let's. How do we installation? All right, I guess we're gonna have. Go big, people. Go big or go home. Oh, my. Brutal. Brutality. The camera bracket. Matching the picture. 
Yeah, that's a terrible. Oh my gosh, people, that's a terrible photo. What? Okay, I got a 50 chance to do that right. What? Absorbing balls. Oh my gosh. Why is it so small? All right, people. What? Okay. Here's the thing. Let's, oh, goodness. All right. Let me go back to my main camera. <laughs> and now my cameras, of course, aren't working. Okay. So here's the thing, guys. Um, is it intuitive? The answer is no. Uh, I have to find these. I have these tiny shock absorbing balls. They call them here that I have to somehow fit onto this. This is going to be tedious, so I can't do it live, which unfortunately uh, for you, you don't get to see. But I will be doing um I will be doing a full review of this thing once I do get it built, which will hopefully be at some point this evening. Um, but uh, once I get that set away, I think we'll be in good shape. Now, the good news is this here, I suppose that's going to create some shock absorbing. So you're going to get less jello, which is good. Um, but again, I don't know because we haven't tested it yet. So, hey, thanks for tuning in. And uh, I apologize I didn't get it done for you today. But uh, this video is coming on this drone. I'll be flying it later tonight, hopefully. Anyway, if you have questions or uh, you want to see something specific uh, about this drone or something else on the channel, let me know. I'm going to run through the chat here real quick. Uh, see what people got. Um, so basically what I meant to say is the range on the drone limited due to the battery life. Yeah. Um, you know, the battery, they say five and a half minutes, which really means probably four, four and a half minutes. How far can you get in four and a half minutes? Uh, probably farther than the control link. Um, because you know, it's the LRS, which is going to be good, but really the drone is so small. I think, you know, you're going to be limited to, uh, you don't you really want to fly this thing out of your line of sight anyway. Um, you used to say that when you're back in active duty in the army. <laughs> All right. Um, I must have said some 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 fun comment. Uh bought the LYZR RCL to a Pro Max because of you. It is amazing. Yeah, that breezy. Thanks. Thanks for mentioning. Um, yeah, that's a great drone. Uh hope you like it. A hundred bucks. Like that's guys, that's a deal. Um good good stuff for sure. Uh go big or go home. All right. That's right, Jason. Uh, so we're going to put this together. Um, I'm going to put this together. Then I'm going to be back and uh, I'll, I'll tell you all about it and uh, my thoughts on this drone and other things. I've got some cool things coming. Uh, I got, I've got a, a bicopter, uh, a drone with two propellers. Uh, I've got this modular uh, <laughs> lawnmower that, uh, it, it's it's a robotic lawnmower that can also become a robotic snowblower. That's going to be interesting, kind of an odd thing, but uh, I couldn't say no because it sounded uh, sounded so fun. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, sorry we didn't get it done today on the stream, but uh, we'll get it done eventually.